you know, I saw it on TV, I saw it at the intro, but nothing strikes you until you see it in person. I'm not 100% sure that I like it. <laughs> I'm also not 100% sure that I hate it. I have a truck, cue music. Three is the magic number with the Cybertruck because that's how many electric motors the top of the range model gets. The all-wheel drive tri-motor Cybertruck will do 0-60 in less than 3 seconds. A dual-motor all-wheel drive model will do the same sprint in under 4.5 seconds, while the entry-level single motor with rear-wheel drive will take 6.5 seconds to go from 0-60. to It's a little bit smaller than an F-150 Raptor, and he said that they'll end up making two variants, a dual-motor and a higher-end version he believes will be tri-motor, both with rear-wheel steering. It appears like based on a thread, a great thread, which I'll link to in the video description from at Matthew DR on Twitter, um, that Tesla is not going to um, actually manufacture the single motor variant of the Cybertruck. Additionally, I expect that Tesla will start off with the highest available trim of the Cybertruck to begin with um, to help set off the high initial production cost while production volume is still low. Tesla says its tri-motor Cybertruck can manage 500 miles between charges. The mid-specification dual-motor model meanwhile lasts 300 miles, but the entry-level rear-drive Cybertruck will only do 250 miles between electrical fill-ups. The new Cybertruck is probably the most minimalist pickup ever created. Up front, there's no grille, just a blank space flanked by two headlights, while the bonnet flows without a change in angle into the windscreen. And at the rear, there's just a single high-level light bar. There are some traditional pickup truck design cues though, just take a look at those rugged tires and chunky wheel arches. The US Patent Office has officially granted Tesla a patent for the Cybertruck wheel design. In February, Tesla patented an ultra-hard, cold-worked steel alloy for the Cybertruck, and now Sawyer Merritt has posted that Tesla was granted a design patent for its Cybertruck wheel design. The design patent is good for 15 years. He included a screenshot of the patent along with a photo from the pre-production model. Just because they filed for a new patent doesn't necessarily mean they'll be using this final design in the product. Tesla made the body of the Cybertruck, which it calls its exoskeleton, out of cold rolled stainless steel, which helps eliminate corrosion. It also makes it look like a modern successor to the DeLorean, which is definitely a good thing in my book. Buyers tend to be pretty conservative in what they like. It needs to look like a pickup truck, you know, all that kind of thing. And this doesn't look anything like a pickup truck, yeah. but it immediately makes pickup trucks look old fashioned. Well, I think there's a preconceived notion of what a pickup truck should be. And I think that's something that we said, if we're going to go bold, we need to do something that breaks that norm. New prototype, sadly, if you want to go ahead and show it. Um, sadly, we don't you know, have the ability to get in it right now. Maybe we will inside. But you can definitely see the B-pillar camera there in a square instead of an oval, which is really cool. And of course, the gigantic windshield wiper. I guess they never figured out a better way to do that. And of course, the side view mirrors, but they're a kind of a cool hexagonal shape. The really big thing, if you come over here, is look how stubby the nose of this thing is. It is cra It used to be much, much longer, and so the front wheels are basically right up against the front bumper here now. So they really, really shrunk the front, front end of the vehicle in, which is really, really cool. It's absolutely gorgeous, man, in person. This might be my favorite angle of the car right here for me. You tell me. So that looks awesome. And here, we'll do a complete loop around. Loop around. Yeah, no, I saw the previous pictures that I Let's go this way. Look at that. Inside, the angular design theme continues with geometric seatbacks and a flat shelf like dashboard. Familiar to owners of pickup trucks will be the six seat layout, which includes a small jump seat in the front row. What's less normal for a pickup is the massive 17 inch touchscreen and the oddly shaped steering wheel. It'll reportedly have a larger 18.5 inch center display and no gauge cluster display. Those details weren't 100% confirmed, but they gave us a better idea as to what we can expect in the production model. The greenhouse is fabulous. 
I yeah. love how open it appears to be. It has a huge center armrest where we can see cup holders and I believe wireless chargers as well. They don't want to put them in the same place as the sexy lineup right beneath the display. I believe because they want that whole front bench area to be open, but the center console does not look like it folds up anymore. It kind of goes straight past the passenger and driver's seat, which makes me think, ooh, man, are they wondering if they don't want to make a six-seater anymore? They also appear to be taking another page out of Ford's playbook with the back seats. We've seen photos now of the lower sections being able to fold up if you want more cargo space inside the cab. So that's a good sign. It's a very common thing on other pickup trucks, and I'm grateful to see it here on the Cybertruck as well. Something else which I noticed, which is in the back seat, there is a rear display for the passengers. So similar to the Model S and X, that screen will probably help you control your HVAC controls, but it will also be capable of playing some games, directing the air vents, of course, and maybe watching YouTube videos and that kind of thing. Tesla says the Cybertruck has 2,830 litres of lockable cargo capacity. This includes the low bed, which Tesla calls the vault, the frunk, and even more storage in the sail pillars. And if, like me, you didn't know what those were, they're the bits of bodywork behind the rear windows. Every day's a school day, eh? Yeah, so back here we have the vault. Okay. Touch of a button. Just opens right up like yeah, magic. Yeah, that's very cool. And a good so size bed, yeah. yeah. If you want to mount like a missile launcher or something, you can do that. <laughs> yeah. And closes them. And how strong is that? This, the, you can walk on it's this very thing. Weird. You can walk on it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, it's very strong. It's like so. If you've got uh, some valuable cargo in the back, uh, this this will protect your cargo and secure it against uh, being being stolen. So it's uh, pretty stout. And onto the back, we actually have a very clear view of some type of sub trunk that's in the bed, which I don't believe we have seen before. They've got the tailgate down and everything. It's definitely not that bare bones steel that we saw in the original prototype, but it looks somewhat durable. But my only concern, which may just be because I'm watching a video of it and I'm not seeing it in person, but the padding on the sides of the bed feels very thick, you know? I don't know if they have extra storage compartments on the side of the bed or something, but the overall floor space of that bed feels somewhat narrow, and I don't see much evidence of a mid-gate, which I was very hopeful for. I'm not sure if GM has a patent on that and Tesla can't implement it, but the bed definitely feels long, but maybe not so wide as I was expecting it to be. I just keep wondering to myself, what's in all of those side sections? Like, when they first unveiled the Cybertruck, we thought those side pillars were gonna have more storage in them, but I don't see any lines or any openings for those side sails, so I don't think there's that much storage area. Well, one interesting thing is you can now see that there's a camera mounted like right at the top of the lift gate. I assume that's a camera. It looks like a camera. But uh, that'll be pretty cool. And it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know whether this is true or not, but from here it looks like the bed is significantly smaller because they've got a bigger sort of lift on the outside. The Cybertruck has integrated 120 volt and 240 volt power points, turning it into a kind of mobile mini power station. It also features an onboard air compressor, making it ideal for camping trips or building sites. But you can see where the air compressor hookup is and where the outlets are in the back that you can plug into. So they've got that working, which is good. Thanks to adaptive air suspension, a pretty high-tech trick on a truck, the Cybertruck can raise or lower itself by up to four inches. It's also self-leveling, so you know it'll adjust automatically to any load. If you expect to be driving through the dodgy parts of town, you needn't worry, because the Cybertruck will withstand a whack from a sledgehammer without denting the bodywork. Its windows will also resist bullets, although Elon Musk's demonstration of that didn't quite go according to plan. Is that a special kind of glass? Is that different oh, yeah. well, than normal windshield glass? Um, we are going to be using um, effectively uh, a form of arm armored glass right. for the car. And the door panels of the car are the 300 series stainless steel, and it's so tough that it's bulletproof to a handgun. And, and why is that important to you that it be bulletproof? I mean, I don't... This is badass and yeah, well, yeah, super okay. cool. That's super cool. <laughs> but see, I like I mean, that answer. It's I mean, a good answer. Do you want your truck to be bulletproof or not? Yeah, I guess, sure. I, 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 guess I want my truck to be bulletproof. Yeah, sure. exactly. He also thought the front trunk was going to work as expected, like any other Tesla. But now we have new information supposedly leaked by an employee. It's looking like the hood will open more like the F-150 Lightning, its main competitor. Matthew corrected his thread, saying, quote, A Tesla employee told a friend of mine that I got one thing incorrect in my Cybertruck thread, the frunk. I said it is like the Model X's frunk, and only the hood portion opens. Apparently this is not accurate, and the Cybertruck frunk is way better. I'm told the frunk opens like a Ford Lightning. The light 
sidebar section does lift up. He included in that post a GIF of how the F-150 Lightning's mega power frunk opens, suggesting the Cybertrucks will open in a similar way. Many have speculated how exactly the Cybertruck's frunk will compare, noting the different seams on the front that could be meant to open. Matthew responded to this post saying he was told it was going to be option A, which would mean you would open the front trunk by the headlights. There does not appear to be a handle there, so unless the front trunk is going to be automatic, which we haven't heard anything about, you would be touching the front light bar every time you open the front. It's also worth noting that the F-150 has stationary headlights to the side of the trunk, and the Cybertruck doesn't, and that might be a problem when it comes to this feature actually getting safely approved. That front trunk design is hugely popular with Lightning owners, so it would definitely be well received by Cybertruck order holders, and I'm especially excited for it to have even more storage space if this is true. There's definitely visibly lots of hardware for cameras all around this thing. Kind of weird that the front bumper camera feels a little bit asymmetrical, but this Cybertruck is most definitely rocking hardware for, and some people were pointing out that the Cyber Wiper, if you want to call it that, is looking a bit more slick, and some people seem to be more okay with it now. I can't see a of differences but I just want to remind people that there's really not anywhere else that would be better for that wiper if you try to put it in the more traditional place on a vehicle it's going to interrupt that very very smooth flat front of the truck that goes from the steel hood to the armored glass windshield that would eat into your aerodynamics and result in worse range and I personally just think it would be weird to have that huge flat smooth front front and then just this big giant wiper interrupting the whole thing so I know it's weird and I know it'll take some getting used to but I personally I personally prefer the giant one wiper to do the whole thing. I just hope that it covers your visibility fairly well. So, it, 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 as I said, you know, we, we'll start production later this year. We'll start handing over cars later this year. There will be an S-curve of production, so it'll be slow at first and then, and then ramping up. Um, and I guess we'll see what the demand is like. Uh, so, I, I mean, I think there's, we're likely to do probably um, a quarter million a year, I think, maybe more. Um, again, very much dependent on, on, on what the demand uh, is like. And, um, and it's, it's, you know, we, we don't just need to ramp up production, but we also need to, to um, improve the, the, the production cost efficiency, so that, which is going to be also a very, very hard thing. So, uh, but I'd say it's, you know, a quarter million a year is, is a reasonable guess. Um, and it, it might be 500,000, I, I don't know, but we'll, we'll make as many as people want and can afford, to, um, and, 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 but, and then like I said, it's, it's gonna be hard to make the, the cost of, uh, affordable because it is a new car, new manufacturing method. While producing 250,000 Cybertrucks per year is still quite a large number in many ways, that's much less than I expected. And while even 250,000 per year will still make a dent in the truck market and shake things up a bit, it doesn't look like Tesla is planning enough volume for the Cybertruck for it to overtake the Ford F-Series pickup truck anytime soon. I'm a pretty big fan of this design. I'm very grateful that Tesla decided to not just go buy the book and make the same old pickup truck we've seen a million times. And honestly, I'm already kind of getting bored of after seeing the latest electric Ram. <laughs>